Greg Dyke, uh, good evening. First of all, at the Select Committee today, if corruption is proved around the granting of the World Cup to Qatar, will England pull out? No, well, we're, we're all waiting to see Mr. Garcia's report. When we see Mr. Garcia's report, we'll know what level of, if there was any corruption and what level there was. Uh, we, at that stage, I think if there is evidence of corruption, we would ask for a revote. A revote, but you wouldn't, in the, in the absence of a revote, you wouldn't pull England out. You would, you would go. Oh, I don't think there's any point of pulling England out. What, the, the, uh, uh, and what as, about, I say, as I told the Select Committee, I've resigned from things before and it's not a good idea, really. <laughs> yeah, we all wish you were still at the BBC. Yeah. Is it um, appropriate, do you think, the way things are in the world, to go to Russia in 2018? I think it's too early to say that. But oh, you th think there I, might be an issue? I, yes, but I don't think you want to look at it in this week because it's such a, it's such a dramatic event this week and it's so... But can uh, you imagine Vladimir Putin at the opening ceremony? Uh, as I say, it's too early to know that. And in the end, that decision will be taken by FIFA. Well, well that's decisions for the future, but let's uh, have a bit of uh, looking back now and deal with the World Cup. It was England's worst performance in more than 50 years. No, were you not, embarrassed? That's not true. Were you embarrassed? No, that's not true, because twice we didn't qualify at all. So they yeah. were the worst Well, once you got there, it was your once worst Once we performance. got there. No, we always knew it would be a tough group. I said from the beginning, I mean, as you say, the, the throat cutting. So you we thought, you the thought that you were, you were, you were I, toast at the draw? No, I don't think we were toast, but I thought it was difficult. I think we didn't want to play in Manaus, and we didn't want to play the Italians, because that, it gave us a very hard group. But we, we... That's an excuse, come on. No, 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 no. It was, well, you asked me about the throat cutting, I'm telling you, that was what okay, the reason but, but was. Do, but well, if you imagine that actually England is regarded as one of the, you know, the finest footballing nations, wasn't it humiliating what happened to England? No, it was, it was disappointing, it wasn't humiliating. Actually, we didn't... What was humiliating would be to lose 7-1, uh, as uh, Brazil discovered. that We didn't lose 7-1, we lost by two odd goals, which could have gone the other way. Now, it was disappointing disappointing and we'd like to have done better. Let's talk about Roy Hodgson for a minute. Now, you know, you're a man that's run several organisations and you're known, you can be quite ruthless. Why are you protecting Roy Hodgson? Well, there was a, did you see a poll yesterday that showed that 80% of the public, over 80% of the public, once said we were right to keep Roy Hodgson. Roy Hodgson's got a four-year contract. We, want, we looked at it as, after the results mm -hmm. and said, look, we think We'll stick with this guy for another, for, for at least for another two but years. But you did look at the contract. I mean, you were oh, we concerned. Knew the, we knew the concerns. We knew the, no, we knew the contract. Well, we weren't concerned. We said, on the, on the day after you've lost, you, could, you have to make a quick decision. And we decided, we talked to a number of people, and we decided we would like to stick with Roy for the next two years. We don't, I don't blame Roy. See, I think English football has got a problem, which I've had a commission that has been looking into for some period Yeah, because you've got great footballers, but they were less than the sum of their parts when they actually got on the field. Well, we've got, we're, we're a bit short on English footballers. We're a bit short on, I mean, you know... So wait a minute, you're short on good English footballers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 70% well, of the Premier League is, are now foreign players. 50% of the Championship are now foreign players. We've got a limitation, and, and, and they're going down. Every, that's getting bigger every year. Thank you, but do you think that actually our footballers could have played better when they finally got there? Oh, well, I think they'd think we could, they could have done but better. But do you think that? They think they could. Well, as I say, it's, You're the chairman. It's, it's small margins. It's small margins, but mistakes. We could, have, we could have got through to the next round and we didn't. And that was due to a, a number of mistakes and a number of missed opportunities. On the park. On the park. Greg Dyke, thank you very much.